Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Rachel Went Shopping, where we talk all things handbags, fashion, and shopping addiction. Today I have a handbag educational video for you, which is how to get the old, vintagey, maybe mildewy smell out of vintage bags. So one of my favorite things to shop for is vintage handbags. These are typically bags that I really wanted badly when I was younger, but did not have the funds to afford them, and in most cases, I I was able to find them for really good deals later in life. So lately I have been unpacking a lot of my bags to fill up my brand new closet and in doing that some of these bags I've noticed do have that vintagey old smell that nobody likes and we know is very hard to get rid of and two of them in particular were probably the worst off and those are the two I have in these bins here. So I watched several YouTube videos on different ideas on how to remove smells. I'll link below the ones that I found most helpful and some of the tactics that I use but we are at the final step here and I'm about to open these up and see sort of how these turned out and I also want to walk you through all the steps that I took and sort of what the results were. This is actually a couple months long journey. I have let these sit for a pretty long time at each step because I had time my closet was still being built, so I had no place to store them otherwise, so it was fine to take longer with each step of the process as I kept them concealed in these containers using different methods. So let's talk about where I started. So the first step in the process, or the first thing I tried was baking soda. Baking soda, baking powder, arm and hammer, whatever it is, I'll put it on the screen. I have video clip footage that I'm going to show you of exactly what I did, but you'll see me talk in between each of the clips here to explain a little further. So baking soda is kind of just like a home remedy to remove smells. You put it in your refrigerator to get rid of smells. You can put it in lots of different places and it's supposed to help remove smells. So that is the first thing I tried. So I put a little baking soda in the bins. I put some in Ziploc baggies actually in the bags themselves. I've seen people put actual baking soda in the bags and then vacuum it out. I was a little nervous about that and not adventurous enough to try that. But if you are, then go ahead and test that out. And then I also sprinkled it in the box and around the bag, etc. And I let it sit in there for a very long period of time. I'll put timestamps throughout if I can based on recording times. So that was the first step, the baking soda treatment. It has been a week and a day, so Sunday to Monday, and I am going to open these up and see if there is any change in smell. Mm. No. Pretty big whiff of vintage smell there. This is what it looks like. Let me take it off and dust it off. No harm to the bag, it's just a little bit of dusty, so I'm probably gonna clean that up with a wet wipe of sorts. Let's check this one, because this one didn't have as much of a vintage smell as like just a, I don't know, a general old smell. This one might be a little better. This one actually smells a lot better. So I think at least put it in a good spot for the next step. So I do have these water wipes, guys, which you hear people talk about a lot. Um, they are baby wipes, but they are the world's purest baby wipes. So they are 99.9% .9 water with a drop 
of fruit and soap berry extract. So they really are the cleanest ones that you can get and they do not have alcohol in them. So I am not going to use this on the vaquetta part, but I am just going to, well, I'm going to do my best not to. I'm just gonna wipe this part off to get the, oops. I did get a little there, don't panic. It'll dry. Maybe be a little more careful than I'm being right now. So I am touching it a little, but that's okay. One little swipe will typically dry okay. If not, I will even it out. Okay, wipe that down. Now I'm also going to get a microfiber. All right, so microfiber here, usually try to use a white one, but I'm just gonna give this a quick little dust to make sure that any baking soda powder is off of it. We are going to have to try something else with this one. Okay, I'll just dry it a little bit with this. Okay. Feels fine. All right, I am going to wipe this bag down with a water wipe. This leather looks treated and a little more durable. There is a spot here that I'm going to have to think about what I wanna to do to try to get that out. Seems to be the only spot on it. in pretty good shape. It is nylon in here. So I'm going to give this a wipe. The weird part about vintage Dior saddles is that this piece was Velcro. Right, so the only spot that I'm going to have to work on is this one and I can't tell for sure if that is like an oil stain or an actual mark. So I'm not sure exactly how I want to treat that. I might try a Tide pen, don't kill me. And it should be able to be treated like normal fabric. It seems pretty durable, like it doesn't pill. So I just pushed it a few times to get it going and then I'm going to ever so slightly mark it right there. Okay, I'm gonna take the water wipe. And I'm going to treat that right there. Let's just pray to God that I didn't just make that worse. Go on the other side. Okay, so they're two separate pieces of material, so it's not a matter of bleeding through to the other side. All right, you're not supposed to rub stains, you're supposed to dab them. I never do because I'm impatient, but I'll try that. And then if it doesn't work, we could try dabbing some uh, baking soda on it. Maybe it was an oil stain that we could get out with dry products. Okay, so there you go. Here, I don't want this to tarnish. Just going to make sure that I'm getting out any watermarks. There you go. A little bit of light scratching, but honestly, nothing crazy. A little more dense here. honestly in good shape. There is a little bit of a mark here. I'm gonna try the Tide pen. Again, this is a material. This one does look like it could pill. It also might need a brush to bring that up. I'm going at it with the water wipe again. This might work. This, um, strap has lost a little bit of its vibrance, but it's still in really good shape. The next step, I'm probably gonna put a little bit of charcoal in this just to see, but after that I'm gonna do a little bit of the laundry beads I'll show you guys, and that should, seems like the base of the smell is gone, then we'll just make it smell good. Okay, so 
The next thing that I'm going to do is try these charcoal sachets. Satchels, sachets, I don't know what you call them. The, these bags of charcoal. After the baking soda treatment was done, the next thing I did was charcoal packets. I'll link everything down below that I use just for your reference, but these are the charcoal packets that I purchased from Amazon. One thing I wanna know is I did purchase two types of charcoal packets. The first ones that I bought, the packaging itself was not sufficient. And when I touched it, my hands got like dark gray or charcoaly. And obviously one of these bags is, has a very light interior. So I did not wanna put that directly in the bag. I ended up purchasing these after the fact. And these are the ones that I use. What it says in the directions is to put these out in the sunlight for a certain amount of time to activate them. And you're gonna to wanna to do that every so often to reactivate them. So I activated these in the sunlight and then I placed them in the bag, in the bin, all over again to try to soak up smells. And this is another sort of home remedy. People put these in their clothing drawers, their cars, wherever to help soak up smells. So these are charcoal packets, again, purchased from Amazon. I left those charcoal packets in there for a good amount of time. And then last but not least, I did this method that I saw on a YouTube video. I believe the YouTuber's name was Hunter. And again, I'll link it down below, but he suggested putting those dryer scent enhancers in the bag, shaking it up, and then letting it sit with those for basically as long as you can. So you'll see in the clip, I use Dreft scent beads or whatever. I love the smell of Dreft. It reminds me of my son when he was a baby. If you've never smelt it, it's amazing. Okay guys, it's the day after Halloween, so it's November 1st. I've had these bags sitting with the charcoal things inside these bins for like Gosh, I don't know, a while now, like two months. First, oh, I also put one inside here. I still had some baking soda in here. Okay, I'm gonna smell this. It's actually not bad. It seems to be mostly gone. I also had one in here. No smell in here. Which these ones I smelled last time and they actually smelled okay. So I think just airing out these, and technically I think you could wash the dust bag if you wanted to. Let's check the Louis Vuitton one. Mm, still has the smell. There you go. All right, it's definitely helped. It's definitely less. I will say that. So this is not perfect, but that's okay because I am going to clean the canvas. It feels like a little sticky, nothing crazy. So I am gonna clean that and that might help with the smell. And I'm also going to do the dryer beads trick next to help mask the smell. All right, let's check the Dior. This has a little bit of a perfume smell, nothing terrible. So again, I'm going to be doing the dryer beads trick on this and I'm gonna look, looks like no marks on the strap. So the Tide, the Tide pen worked here because the stain that was on here is gone. So this thing looks really good now. The strap is like a little worn there's no spots on it. So I think just doing the dryer bead trick on this guy is gonna help a lot. So this is what I've got. I've got some Ziploc bags and some dryer boosters, scent boosters. This is Dreft. This is a baby brand. I use these in my son's laundry, but you guys, nothing smells better than a newborn baby. <laughs> Sounds so weird, but I love these. It's a baby fresh scent. So this is what I'm gonna use. So I'm going to dump these directly in here. All right, there. They're pretty potent, honestly. I'm gonna close it. I'm going to shake it up. Oh, falling out the sides. I'm gonna shake it upside down. Okay, I'm gonna remove both of the charcoal things. I'm gonna put this back 
in here. I'm actually also going to put some of these in the dust bag. I'm gonna put some in the box. Careful not to drop them on the floor. You don't want your dog and kids to eat them. Shake those up a little bit. I throw that in there and then I'm gonna sprinkle some just in the box, okay? There we go. Close this bad boy back up and let that sit in its resting spot. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So that is what I did and that is what I will be unpacking here and these have been in here for a few weeks now since the closet is now done. So let's go ahead and open the first one up. So I just bought plastic bins. You can purchase any plastic bins. My favorite ones though are the ones that have like the sealer ring around them that really hold in the, the well, whatever's in there and they prevent moisture. I highly recommend those. Sometimes they're hard to find it. Sometimes they're expensive, but I'll link them if they can find them. These are the only ones that I could find at Target. They're hefty brand. So I've got everything in this bin here with the scent feed. Um, and again, if you've seen the video, you'll see how I did it. So I've got a box here and I've got scent beads in here. So I'm going to empty those out and give it a smell. It smells like scent beads. The box, I remember after the charcoal step, this bag was the one that still had the most vintage-y smell to it after the baking soda step. And then after the charcoal step, it got a little better, but it still had a little bit of the smell. So I was worried that the scent beads would be more of a masking mechanism than a true removal. Um, here is the dust bag. I've also contemplated putting the dust bags in the washer and dryer, which I don't think would be a problem. This is a vintage dust bag. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. I can do a video on Louis Vuitton dust bags and packaging through time. This still has a little bit of a vintage -y smell, but it's not as bad as it was. And again, this is something I might consider putting in the wash because you know, there's not as much risk if something were to happen to this. You can buy dust bags on eBay and stuff too. All right, here is the bag. She's beautiful. Be careful with the um, scent beads when you're opening them. Uh, that you don't want to dry them. You don't want to drop them on the floor if you have a dog or a child that could eat them. I'm going to empty all of these out. All right. This bag smells worlds better than it did. Originally, when I got this bag, I was scared. I remember I took it to a summer wedding. I don't know if I have a picture. I wore it with this beautiful Camilla caftan. And I was worried people could smell me. That's how much of a potent smell this was giving off. And I don't smell it. I'm actually gonna bring it downstairs and see what my husband thinks if he smells anything bad. But I think this is greatly improved. Is it perfect? No. The interior is pretty good. It smells like the dryer beads. I do wanna do a bit of canvas cleaning on this though to get rid of, sometimes you, they can get a little sticky over time. This one's not bad. One of my other ones is worse. So stay tuned and let me know in the comments if you wanna see how I clean my canvas. So there you go. I've emptied all the dryer beads and I have a much improved scent here on this bag. All right, so. These are all the beads that are left in the bin. Again, be careful not to drop them on your floor so that your little doggies and kitties don't eat them. I'm just gonna close this up. Bag number two, another beauty. So this one is fabric. So I was a little worried about like oils or something getting onto the bag. So I did put down parchment wax paper and then I put the beads on top of it just to be safe. I did put the beads directly inside though. Which again, you'll see all this in my separate clip. But let's see. And then inside here, I have the bag and then I have a Ziploc bag with a bunch of the beads just exposed open on the outside. 
Again, I was a little worried about the beads themselves touching the fabric. So you'll see in the video, this bag had a few marks on the handle and on the front part of the bag. And I actually used a tide stick and the spot appears to be gone. I can't see it. Tell me if you guys can see it. I don't even remember what it was. I have to go back and look at the video footage, but it looks pretty clean to me. And then here is the inside. These old saddlebags were Velcro. So then I did put beads directly in here and I did shake it up as Hunter suggested. So I'm just going to, well, let me give it a smell. I smell no bad smells. I smell only good smells. This bag does not have any scent anymore. This one did not have a dramatic scent to begin with, just FYI. All right, shaking out all the beads. All right, I think she's clear. Do you guys call your bags males or females? Do you call them he or she? I do that sometimes, I don't know. It's just natural. This bag is so iconic. Ugh, one of my absolute favorites. You've got the C and the D on both sides and then the big D in the middle. And honestly, it was in great condition to begin with, but there was that one spot on the front I was worried about. And I honestly cannot believe that I got it out with a Tide pen. That was a risk for sure. All right, so there you go. This one, the smell is completely removed. So I used a three-step process, baking soda, charcoal bags, and scent beads. And yeah, I've got two more bags actually that have a little bit of a scent to them that I discovered again when I was unpacking. And I'm probably going to do a little bit of a same process on them, maybe shorter period of time, I don't know. But let me know what you think and please let me know what other tips and tricks you guys have for removing old vintage mildew scents from your bags because I would love to hear them. I think this one will get even further improved when I do a cleaning of the canvas because then any smell on there should hopefully continue to be removed. So another thing you can do is you can consistently keep something like charcoal packets or dryer packets inside your bags at all times. I have these amazing dryer packets. Hold on, I'll show you. These are the dryer packets. They are the Tyler Candle Company Diva Scent. If you haven't heard of this laundry detergent, it is one of the best smelling laundry detergents. At first I was not sure about it, but the hype is real. They have these little dryer satchels. They're in plastic wrap, but you can remove them and put them inside your bags, along with tissue paper or whatever else you're using to pack and store your bags. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more fun, helpful handbag tips. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.